We already saw that every Excel spreadsheet is made of multiple rows and columns. Now is the right time to learn some operations that will allow us to modify rows and columns in Excel files. First off, when we need to select a row or a column, we need to click on it in the following way. The exact same thing is valid for rows. Alternatively, we can use keyboard shortcuts, Control and Spacebar for selecting a column, and Shift and Spacebar for selecting a row. Shortcuts allow us to work much faster. Now that we have selected a row or a column, there are several things we can do with it. We can select its size by dragging its border. We can insert a column on its left by using the right mouse button and then clicking on Insert. Finally, we can delete the respective column through a right click and the Delete button. If you need to set a column or a row's size to a precise number, you can use the Column and Row Width commands. By right-clicking on a selected column, I can find the Column Width command. Here it is. Then we need to select the column size. The same thing applies for rows. These are the operations that you will need to know when working with rows and columns. Thanks for watching.